Thanks very much for watching. A few minutes, we'll go live to Tasmania, where there is an election about to take place in the next couple of weeks. We'll have a chat to an insider down there about how it's playing out and whether or not uh, the crazy cat lady will be able to get some people up uh, in her name or not. Definitely not a crazy cat lady, quite the opposite. I don't know, dogs or cats, who cares? But Jane Hume is here, Senator from uh, Victoria. Representing, Definitely a dog person. God love you, representing <laughs> the good people of Victoria, the Liberal Party. Senator David Lionhelm, the Liberal Democrats, you know, crazy free cat thinker. Person. He is a crazy, you are a crazy cat person. Yeah. You're all in on it, I love it. Well, Andrew Clonell from The Australian, a declaration about pets? Neither. Good. No. All right. <laughs> You've got Max a lobble. <laughs> He's got one of those weird pets. So there was a, uh, an organisation called Transparency International. Wouldn't you just love a, a business card with them? Uh, anyway, uh, apparently Australia is more corrupt than New Zealand. Have a look at this. These are the, uh, the top ten countries, or top few anyway. New Zealand, Denmark, Finland, Norway and Switzerland. First, second and then all equal third. Australia is 13th overall on the matter of uh, corruption index. Part of what goes into this is just about whether or not you have things like corruption commissions at the federal level, how hard things like freedom of information requests are, whether or not trade deals are sort of publicly listed on websites, but we, uh, we're down on the list. But relax, we're not that bad. The other end of the scale is Yemen, Afghanistan, <coughs> Syria, South Sudan, and then Somalia at 180. Um, it, let's put it, let's, how can I ask this in the funnest way possible? Jane, uh, Jane Hume, why is Australia more corrupt than New Zealand? <laughs> well, I don't necessarily think it is. Look, it's always uh, a, you know, a disappointment when Australia falls in the rankings on any international scales um, of this nature. But, you know, I think we should put this in perspective. This is a perception index. It's not a reality index. Uh, and Australia has some of the uh, most stringent you know, governance requirements and transparency requirements in the world. I don't necessarily think that this is something that make, should make us lose sleep at night. Oh, yeah, all right. I mean, Senator... It, it, is this again perception versus reality? What do you think of it? Yeah, it's perceptions. And I was just looking at some of the things that uh, that are regarded as uh, corruption on the uh, article on my phone. I need my glasses to read it. <laughs> uh, misuse of travel allowances, inadequate regulation of foreign political donations, conflicts of interest in planning approvals. Very corrupt country. Revolving doors <laughs> on a culture of mateship, inappropriate <laughs> industry lobbying in large scale projects such as mining, and the misuse of power by leading politicians. These are perceptions of corruption. That was why, because of those perceptions, we are more corrupt than you. Yeah, so, in other, words, in other words, we set up commissions to, to find this stuff. When they do, they call us corrupt. Correct. <laughs> the concept about your travel routes <laughs> ends yeah, up being yeah. corruption when it gets exposed and you lose your job yeah, because of it? Yeah, yeah. Whereas in really corrupt countries, it doesn't. Correct. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, best, best, best to move on.